all right today we have fun to run this cable the main feed got to bury it all the way all the way out here and then we'll figure out exactly where we're going to put this to feed over there But as long as we can get to this building, that's the hardest part. So let's start digging. All right, we got this all put in. Fun part was getting right through here because they had nothing but concrete pieces. Like somebody had a sidewalk or whatever and they broke it up and they laid it all, poured it all down in here. We got it ran through here and some pipe. So in case they want to dig and put flowers, they'll hit the pipe without hitting the wire. Got the wire put up in there. The wire goes from here, goes straight out that way. Pretty much you can't see where I got it. It's just the way I dig it. Instead of actually digging it up, I just put a split in it. If you look real close, you could probably see it. That little trench right there. That's where it's at. But after it rains, you won't even see that much. But it comes right here. Comes up right there. And I got all the extra wire rolled up here. Because I don't know exactly if it's going to do what I want it to do by putting a pole right here basically where these bricks are and put it right up there and point it between them first two trees and see what kind of speed we get but that's what we're going to do Monday and then hopefully if things go right if we get enough speed between the two point to points get all of our speed over there we just might tie in the first client maybe on Monday, if not, probably Tuesday. Because, like I said, in the past, they, they already got two RVs in there. And one of them did mention about internet. So, be able to uh, get somebody that quick. It'd be nice. All right, we got the uh, pole mounted. Got the radio up there. This one here would says it would do 300 at the distance that we're gonna be going, which is more than enough, 150 up, 150 down. Haven't had an RV park yet hit the 100 mark. Close they came was like 80, so this shouldn't be much difference. Depends on how many to get on but do we just gonna uh change out the radios but this is something we already had and might as well use what we got but right now we're gonna get the wire up there and then go over there and see if we can actually get a signal after we get this one up online it's already programmed we should be able to plug it in and then plug it in at the box over there give it power and she should come online and then we can this week work on the, get the uh, other end of the link put a pole up and all over there but right now we just wanted this one up online and point in that direction so let's see if we see if we can get that done all right we got this one plugged in Normally I would put a service loop here, but with all the wire I got down there, I don't see no reason to put it up here when I got that whole bundle of wire down there. Didn't know exactly what I was going to run into, so I wanted to have that extra. So I'm just going to leave it straight up here, and I'll have that coil down there at the bottom. So let's uh, 
get some more zip ties on here and see if we can get this thing fired up all right got the wire on the pole now we do have a quite a bit of extra left over here it's about 50 feet left on here and there's a reason why I did that because this is the ideal spot that I saw that is going to work right here with the line of sight that I have now if these trees here really grow out during the summertime and it starts hindering on the signal I have enough to take that pole down and bring it over here and attach it to the fence and get away from all of the trees and also he hadn't put his office over there yet and I don't know exactly how much room of trees he's going to remove so if he's going to move a lot of trees over there to get his office in there only thing I have to worry about is these two trees right here and I can keep the limbs on the bottom of it from top of the fence up to maybe four foot five foot keep them completely trimmed off cut them off I have line of sight but I want to give myself enough extra just in case I need to relocate the AP to get it over there on the point-to-point -point, uh, setup so we're gonna leave it here and we're going to try it here and see how it works and the software is going to tell us what we need to do if we can leave it or relocate it only time will tell because there's not really many big limbs on these two trees except the one all the way to the right right there we can cut them off there's not any really on that one except maybe it's good six foot up but we can keep that nice and clear and we should be all right but let's get over there and uh, see if we can get this one up on line and see if it shows up in the uh, software all right we got the uh, router in there the poe is up here which is feeding the the router then goes back and feeds the radio we got to get another ethernet cord plug in here so we can actually turn the poe on port 4 so to go through and turn on the ap and see if we can get it to show up in the software and then we're going to call it a day and then tomorrow we'll get into the rv park and start setting up the receiver of the point to point and hopefully the day after that We'll be able to tie on the first client possibility. All right, we got it up and running. We got the uh, router, got the AP for the backhaul. It's all up and running now. We just got to get over to the uh, RV park tomorrow. Hopefully, we won't have as much rain we had in the last 48 hours. And be able to get them start getting uh, connected over there but this part is done except closing it up locking it up and getting out of here that's the only thing that's left to be done but she is up and running All right, we got the pole down the ground a good foot. Just sticking here for right now. It's not tied to anything, but it does have a little hook right there. So we're gonna just take that and attach it to it right there, just like that. Because it looks like it's gonna be lined up pretty well. So let's do a speed test and see what we got before we even do any alignment. I'm just pointing it. In direction where them two trees that I was 
putting the other radio in pointing between the two and right here if I stand here zoom in or not let's see where he at I can see them trees in them two trees right in there if I turn 180 I got the pole and the station from the with the uh, point to point let's see what we're gonna do just uh, eyeballing it That's more than enough what I need over here. If I need more, I can just turn it up at the, the back hall back there at the house and get more. But that that's more than enough. That's what I got at the other RV parks and I've never seen an RV park hit over 80 at any given time, even in the middle of July. The highest peak, I think it was like 81, 82. It's the highest it ever peaked. So 200 is more than enough to feed this place. All right, we got the uh, station set up. Got it stabilized so the pipe won't turn. We put a stabilizer down on the ground, attach it to the pole, then bury the uh, stabilizer and it will not let the pole turn. So we don't have to put no guide wires on or anything like that but we got the uh station there got the parks ap right there the only ones uh possibly have an issue with is the ones here Just may have to uh, take this uh, AP and put another pole on top of this one and get it above that RV. But the rest of them, pretty much from, uh, I'm trying to see in the screen, pretty much from the road corner, roughly right there, all the way around here. And in the middle is going to be no issue with the AP where it's at. I can just put 10 foot poles pretty much on each one of these and reach it. But the ones down here, it's going to be an issue with that RV there, so I'm going to have to get a higher if somebody goes there. But we have access in the park. And I'm going home. It's only 43 degrees and it's 15 to 20 mile an hour winds. Like right now, the wind's not blowing that much. Now it just picked up as you can see the flags here. If it wasn't for the wind, it wouldn't be feeling so cold. I'm out here with sweats on, with sweats under it, and flannel shirt, and long sleeve, a hoodie. And it still wants to cut through. But you see the trees really whipping now. It'll blow 12, 15 and then it'll gust up to about 20 miles per hour is what they say for the next three or four days. But we got this one up and running. Now we're just waiting for uh, some clients to get on. And waiting for the owner to come in so we can actually get him some internet here in his temporary office because he's going to build an office over here.
sometime. But right now, this is going to be what we're going to have. 